hello all so as part of this video we will see the concept of u authorization right in bigquery okay so usually it comes under access control concept right we will see in data we will also try to demo how to create authorization view and we will demo it in detail okay so let us move to the next slide right first of all let us try to understand what is the authorization okay you already you all know what is the view right view is a simple sql query right to queries a single or multiple tables based on some filter conditions or business logic you will we'll try to join multiple tables then you will name it and you will save it in the database right we call it as a view it's a database object right so this is basically uh, in case of view right you will not be storing any underlying data right data still remains in the table but you will try to query a single or multiple tables based on by using some sql right so this is a, this is called view then what is the, uh, what is the authorized view right so we'll see that concept right for example let's try to understand one request right as a as as part of develop uh, development team or application owner team what we'll do if you're part of development team then right it is your duty to extract load or extract transform load data to data warehouse right usually the required permissions or roles will be given to a developer based on his business role, right in the similar way there are other business stakeholders who would like to analyze data which is already available in the data warehouse based on their requirement so it is our duty our application owner duty to make sure whatever the different business stakeholders should have the least privileged access to the data right so as a data analyst or data scientist for example they don't have to have right access in every data set which is available in the data warehouse so based on their role right they can only access some limited data right to make sure that it is the application owner duty to access or grant required privileges or roles right so as part of it there are many ways to do it they will be granting the necessary im permission in case of bigquery to that particular business stakeholder so view authorization also one way to restrict data to the different business stakeholders or uh, other users who would like to consume data from the data warehouse right so there are some prerequisite to create your authorized view and there are some uh, least privileged or roles to be granted to the user and also to the view as well right let us see one by one okay so first of all here the prerequisite is let us say i have a source data set data set one there i have two to three tables okay then i like to create authorized view in such case i need to create one more data set my my view should be created in a different data set other than the source data set where, wherever our source tables are available right this is a prerequisite that means you should be part of a different data set right because we would like to restrict data on source tables that's why we should not create the view in the same data set wherever our source table resides okay that is first condition and the second condition so once we create the view so then the user whoever is would like to use that view right he needs to have a certain roles to be granted right first role is minimum bigquery role that is bigquery user at the project level and also you would like to anyway use or consume that view which is available in a destination data set that is different data set other than the source data set you should be given at least the viewer permission and the data set in which the view resides 
okay these are the two uh, required permissions to be granted to the user and finally since we have created the view in a different data set it should be authorized from the source data set because our source table resides in the source data set that is the different data set than the destination data set. these are the uh, few prerequisite or important concept pertaining to the authors let us go and see demo so how we can create it and then you will be i mean clarified many many queries actually okay let us quickly move on to the demo okay yeah right now okay i'm into my gcp console this is my current project okay see uh, as part of this project i have one data set already created as part of this data set i have four tables one is external table here are some native tables now i would like to basically create a view authorized view in a different data set now this is my source data set then uh, how i will be creating that view i'll be selecting only limited column from one of this table or multiple tables from this data set uh, then i'll be creating that view in a different data set okay first of all let us try to create one more data set okay create data set so this is my destination data set to be created let me see so nearest location Yeah. Let us select Delhi. Okay. There should be Mumbai also, actually. Yeah. Now create data set. Yeah. Now my data set has been created. Now I would like to create my view. So this is a view. So here, right? If you the source table for this view is this my company master. I have many columns as part of this table. Let us try to preview this table first. Try to understand. I have four, two, five, or six columns, but I would like to. Uh, basically create that view with some limited columns two to three right let us do that right i have i have selected only three columns as part of my view let me create that now my view has been created as part of different data set as a owner of this project i can i can access anything or everything right as part of this project okay now let me try to basically uh, grant a bigquery user role or data viewer role on top of that this data set to a different user okay let me do that let me go to the iam console window right add one more user so this is my other um, view gmail account actually gsuit account right so first of all i need to give bigquery user name right this is the minimum rule we should give at project level right now he has been added as a bigquery user as part of this project so next step 
we have to basically grant data viewer role to this user on top of our da data set wherever this view is created right this view is recently created now we have to basically share permissions right to this user right i see BigQuery data this is the minimum permission since this particular user would like to let us consider this he is a data analyst a data scientist so we'd like to just vary this view it doesn't want to edit or, or basically uh, create something else into this data set right that's why the minimum privilege is required data viewer so that's why i'm giving data viewer right now he has to require permissions to access this view okay and then uh, I can query this view whenever he would like to consume that, right? But our main intention is, otherwise main intention, it doesn't have the permission to view these four tables. You should not have any permission to query any table from this data set. That is our main intention, right? So this view has been created with a limited columns, right? We have restricted the data. So now let us see. So we'll try to log in with that user and we'll try to access this particular right uh, view and we'll try to access this data set also. There, then you should not have access to this data set, but you should be able to query this view. Okay, let me do that. Okay, let me close this and let me open right I'm trying to run this user account into my Google Cloud console. Now I logged into this particular uh, this account right into my Google Google account. So let me go to my BigQuery. Now you can see got access to this project, right? You can see we have two da data sets available in this project. Okay. If you see. If I would like to preview at least this table, I can get this error access DNA because since it's not been granted with any role, right? And this data set, okay? that is the thing. Okay, now let me try to access this view since it is authorized view, right? now so still he is not having access to this view so he has access right viewer access right and also big bigquery user access at project level is not able to access because we forget one step right we we haven't authorized this view from that source data set this view is created but it has to be authorized from this data set right 
aspect how can we do that so now again we will have to log into right uh, our GCP console with my owner account Two factor authentication success. All right. Let me log into BigQuery. Now I have. Open a new tab, sharing here, authorize view. Okay. All right. So the view name. This is the view we have created. Right. Now you have to authorize it. We are authorizing it from our source data. Right. Done. Now we should be in other account. Now we should be able to query that view now. We know this is a project, this is a view. Right? Query new tab. This is the view. Now you should be able to wait. Now you can see. So this is how authorization will work. Right? Still, you should not be able to access any of this table. Right? Since this user directly doesn't have any access or role on top of this data set, but this view has been authorized from this particular data set. He is having the BigQuery user role and the data viewer on top of this data set right this is a big BigQuery authorization okay? will work okay so we'll next in we'll meet in the next video thank you thank you very much